Well, olive oil prices are not the only thing consumers should be worried about. Since 2006, the number of honeybees dying in Europe and North America has more than tripled. And that could mean an economic disaster for the world. Hendrik Sabrandi has our story. At Rice's Honey in Greeley, Colorado, these barrels and what's in them help keep business sweet. Raw honey. They pack more than 2 million kilograms, about 5 million pounds of raw and unfiltered honey at this plant each year. It's uh, essentially honey that's straight from the hive. Now, all we do is clean it up and put it in a bottle for you. The honey comes from the nectar of honeybees, but it's only a small fraction of the food bees help put on U.S. dinner tables. The importance of the bee to our agriculture is critical, right, because of what they do in pollination. But the reality is these pollinators of fruit, nut, and vegetable crops aren't as plentiful as they once were. There are around 60,000 bees in these three active hives, so it's a little hard to grasp with all this buzzing around us that bee numbers in the U.S. are down significantly, and that's got people in the bee community and far beyond very concerned. It's a complicated equation. I mean, Beth Connery, who heads Colorado's Beekeepers Association, says dwindling forage areas for bees and the impact of pests and pesticides helped wipe out 42 percent of all bee colonies in the year ending this past April. How all those interactions are spinning is not in a good direction. The Obama administration's Pollinator Health Task Force now wants to create millions of acres of wildflowers or bee food to boost bee numbers. You can see the nectar in there. These creatures, Conry kind of says, are critical to our liquid. food security. If insects are healthy, then birds and toads and frogs and all that stuff that feeds on them is healthy. And then all the way up that nice pyramid to us at the top. In Boulder, Colorado, where one bee-killing pesticide was recently outlawed, one beekeeper would like to think this insect is on the comeback trail. Who knows? I'm hoping. They're capable of coming back, is what I believe now. The folks at Rice's are optimistic about the bee plan. I think it's a great initiative. They say a healthy bee population is good for food producers, consumers, and them. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Greeley, Colorado.